fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. Hey, Silver. Hey. Sheriff Bob Olson wakened at his usual time. He yawned and stretched, then began to pull on his clothes. It wasn't until he reached for the comb and brush that he saw a note on his dresser fluttering in the breeze that came from the open window. A bullet weighted the note and kept it from blowing away. Hey, now, where'd this come from? I don't remember seeing it before. He scanned the note and then went wide-eyed. Great day. But holy mackerel on horseback. I gotta tell my deputy about this. Jim. Jim, wake up, you lazy galoot. Wake up and let me in. I'm up, Sheriff. What's the matter? What's up? Look at here. I found this note on my dresser. It says that Snake Eye Walters is coming here. Walters? Well, he's wanted for a dozen crimes. That's just the point. We can nail him. He's coming here on the stage between 10 and 11 tonight. Who says so? The gent that left this note for me. Oh, now, Bob, you're too smart to fall for any joke like that. Joke, huh? Well, maybe this bullet's a joke. Bullet? Yeah, this was on the note. It looks like silver. It is silver. Jim... I'll bet two to one the message was left for me by the Lone Ranger. Uh-huh. Gosh, I wonder if this information's right. Hey, Sheriff, look. Over there, that man riding away. What? Mask. You call that white horse silver. Jim, now I'm betting ten to one the Lone Ranger left the message. But, Bob, it don't make sense for a man that's wanted as bad as Snake Walters to ride into town on a stagecoach. Why'd he take such a chance? Walters has always taken chances. It's the unexpected things he does that makes it so all fired hard to get him. Well, yeah, that's so, all right. By thunder, Jim, if he comes here tonight, he'll get a reception he don't expect. After the Lone Ranger had made sure that Sheriff Olson had found the message... He raced out of town to a small camp where his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, was waiting. Oh, sir. Oh, I oh, 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 oh. You 
leave message for Sheriff Kimo uh, Sabi? Yes, Toto. Uh, not good. He went to his deputy with it. I think they'll be ready for Snake Walters when he comes to Baker City. Then we not need it here. We go now, huh? We'll go as soon as we see Walters where he belongs. We wait until tonight? Ask him, Asabi. Tonight, you're to go into town and make sure the law gets Walters. I'll wait here in camp for you. That night, the sheriff made preparations to give Walters an unexpected reception. He ordered all the townspeople to remain away from the vicinity of the stagecoach station. He was determined that there'd be no slip-up and gave careful instructions to his two deputies, Dusty and Jim. As the time slowly passed, the sheriff was tense and fidgety, though he wouldn't admit it even to himself. But capturing Walters meant a great deal, and he felt this was an opportunity that might not come again if things went wrong. Finally, the stagecoach was about due. And with Dusty and Jim, the sheriff went to the almost deserted stagecoach station. I guess we're all set, Sheriff. Mm, I hope so. Well, how do you aim to handle this? We're taking no chances. We can't with a slick hombre like Snake. Uh, first of all, will you fellas know Snake by sight? Sure. Yeah, I've seen his pictures on reward notices. He kind of short with a real heavy bird, ain't he? That's right. Well, then don't worry about it. We recognize the critter all right. Can't afford to take mistakes. If he tries to put up a fight, just shoot. Sure, Good, sure. Now, when the stage stops, we'll cover it on both sides. I'll do the talking. Right. Then I'll order Snake to step out with his hands hoisted. But don't let him get a shot at you, Sheriff. He don't miss. Mm. You won't shoot me. Uh, hey, there's the stage now. Get set. Right. Take that side, Dustin. Whatever you say. I guess we're ready. Oh, 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 oh boy. Oh, there. Oh, oh, boy. Hey, Sheriff. Where's everybody tonight? What's All right, the... boys, now. Close in. What in the... Sheriff, what's going on here? We're with you, Sheriff. We got it covered. Snake, step out of that coach. I can see you in there in the shadows. Come out and reach for the sky. Sheriff, what in tarnation do you think you're doing? Arresting a crook. But there's Don't no... you butt in. But, Sheriff, listen to me. Do in there. You coming out like I said? Or do I have to drag you out? I'm going to open this door. And if you try one fast move, you'll get blasted to kingdom come. Now, climb out. Climb out or I'll... Or I'll... I'll... Oh, golly. Sheriff, what's the matter? If I ever get my hands on that masked man, I'll wring his doggone neck. What's wrong? I tried to tell you, Sheriff. <laughs> well, never in all my born days. My gosh. It's a woman. Get him up, Scott. Get him up. After watching the arrival of the stage and noting that the only passenger was a woman, Tonto raced to their camp in the hills to tell the Lone Ranger. Tonto knew that Walters had been expected, and he was greatly puzzled, since he also knew that the Lone Ranger usually had accurate information. A short time later, he arrived in camp and told the Lone Ranger about the stagecoach's arrival. Tonto, you say a woman got off that stage? That right. And there are no other passengers. But I know Snake Walters planned to come. What did she say? Well, <laughs> her tell lawmen plenty. Oh. Tonto, I still don't understand it. Why do you think Snake come here on stage? Well, I got the information from Snake himself. Him tell you? Yes, but he wasn't aware of it. Of that? Well, uh, you remember Marty Lane? Uh-huh. Him bad fella. When I captured him last month, I searched him for a sneak gun. Uh-huh. I found a note that had been sent by Snake Walters. Lane and Walter sometimes work together. That's right. That note told Lane exactly what I told Sheriff Olson. Uh-huh. Yes, Marty Lane was to meet Snake Walters here in Baker City. Lane in jail now. Yes, but Walters wouldn't be likely to know it. i sure he'd come here as he'd planned. Uh, it's going to be hard to convince the sheriff that there was such a note. You not got it? No, no, I destroyed the note. I didn't want to risk losing it and having it found so Snake would be warned away. You sure, Snake... Not here that Marty Lane in jail. He couldn't have learned about that, Tonto. Marshal over in Red Rock is holding him under another name. Oh. And what we do now? Well, we've got to square ourselves with Sheriff Olson. Uh-huh. There's only one way we can do that. How? We've got to find Snake Walters. Oh, how we do that? 
We'll start by following the back tail of that stagecoach. Oh, we start right now? Yes, King of Sonny. Steady there, Silver. Silver all saddled and ready. All right, Tunnel. Steady, big fellow. Come on, Silver. Come up, Scout. Enraged at what he thought was a poor attempt at a joke, Sheriff Olson was determined to find the man who had left the note and the silver bullet. He felt that by now the whole town was laughing at him and that his reputation was at stake. He set out with his deputies to hunt for the masked man who had fooled him. They followed every possible trail and searched the small canyons in the nearby hills. For three days, the search continued in the country around Baker City. But finally, the sheriff and his men had to admit defeat. They returned to town and reined up dejectedly in front of the sheriff's office. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Steady there. Hell, doggone. I'm plumb wore out and stole in. Easy, boy. <clears throat> Me too. Yeah, I'm just going to toss the reins around the hitch rail and get my breath. Put the horse away later. Oh, now. Well, at least we made more headway than we did yesterday, boys. Uh, what do you call headway, Sheriff? Well, we found where that masked hombre was camped. We found a camp that had been used recent. It don't prove it was a camp of the man that sent you that note. Not by a darn side, it don't. It don't prove it no more than the silver bullet proves that the Lone Ranger was in your house. That's what I don't savvy. What's that? It's sure unlike the Lone Ranger to play jokes or to give a lawman a bum steer. Yet I'm downright sure it was the Lone Ranger that left the tip on Walters for me. Uh, what makes you so sure, sir? We traveled on that white horse. I never saw hoof marks with a longer stride than those tracks we found leaving the camp. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I'm willing to forget the whole doggone thing. I had enough of hunting. Going inside the office where it's cool and rest for a time. Yeah, me too, Jim. Now, now, see here. You boys can't lay down on the job. Oh, now, Sheriff. How you... would you feel if it was you that had been told off by that woman that come here on the stage? Well, I don't know. I... Hey, what's going on? Yeah, there's some excitement down the road. Yeah, it's near the bank. Oh, sure enough. It looks like half the town is rushing that way. Come on, boys. Yeah. Steady there. Easy, easy, boy. Get, get up, boy. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Judson's bank, all right enough. Yeah, there's banker Judson shouting, waving his arms. What's it look like I'm doing? Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, what's up? What's happened, Mr. Judson? From a bank. I've been robbed. I've lost thousands of dollars. Hold on. Now just calm down and tell me the facts. I'm telling them I've been robbed. Five thousand dollars gone. When did it happen? Yeah, just a couple of minutes ago. Did you see the thief? Just one of them. One man, that's all. He came in, held a gun on us, and took the cash. He said he'd shoot if we went after him. He went out of the bank by the back way. The back door, you mean? Yes. Well, come on, Jim. We'll go through the sure, bank. Sure, sure, That's the way he went, out that back door. Come on, boys. Keep your guns handy. Right. He said he'd shoot anyone who came through that door. He may still be waiting. If he is, we'll drill him. If he's not, we'll pick up his trail. Now, open that door, Jim. Stand back. I'll be ready to shoot. Right. Hey, I saw someone. So did I. Over there behind that shed. I saw someone over there move back. Just the door opened. Did you get a look at the crook, Judson? No. His face was covered with a bandana. I'm coming to get you behind that shed. Come out with your hands up or we'll shoot on sight. Dusty, you and Jim go that side. I'll go this. Right. Good, Sheriff. We're coming for you. Don't shoot. Don't shoot, please. Uh, why, it's that same woman, Mrs. Crandall again. That doggone Mrs. Crandall, can't you keep out of my way? She's the one who was hiding behind the shed. I just came here to see what all the excitement was about, Sheriff. Then when I saw the back door from the bank open up, I thought it was more gunmen. Yeah. So I hid. All oh, right, this is the all most right. All right, situation. Mrs. Crandall. Uh, Jim, get the horses. We'll have to start another manhunt. Well, it won't be easy, Sheriff. This gun's too hard to show track. Easy or not, we've got to find that thief. We've got to find my money. We'll do our best, Mr. Judson. That's all anyone can do. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Thank you.
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Tonto had ridden far from the town of Baker City, following the back trail of the stagecoach. The masked man learned what he wanted to know, then joined Tonto to return to town. He was talking to his Indian friend at the time of the bank robbery in Baker City. Tonto, I think I have the answer to the whole affair. You know where Snake Walters go? Yes, I'm sure I do, huh? Him plenty clever. This time he's been too clever for his own good. Mount up, Kimosabe. We'll start for... We ride hard. We beat there by midnight. That's what we're going to try to do. Steady, easy. Silver. Come on, Toto. Get him up. Smart. Oh. Silver. Darkness overtook the sheriff and his deputies as they tried to find some clue that would lead them to the bank robber. But once more, they were forced to return to town empty-handed much to the disgust of banker Judson, who was waiting in the sheriff's office. Excuses, sir. One excuse after another. Well, we covered every trail leading out of town, Mr. Judson. We didn't find no sign of fresh tracks. That man only had five minutes start on you. Well, we're doing the best we can. Sheriff, may as well tell you you've made too many mistakes in these last few days. I heard about the way you fell for a practical joke. Nearly frightened the wits out of poor Mrs. Crandall. Oh, what I tell you... And as if that wasn't enough... You held more guns on her today, with the result that she's leaving town on the next stage. Well, at least that's good news. Doggone, it seems like every time I turn a corner, she's in front of me. She threatened to sue the community, but I managed to talk her out of that. The least you can do is to see her before she leaves and apologize. All right, man. Uh, apologize? No. Well, I suppose I might as well. When's she leaving? On the next stage. The one that pulls out tonight? Yes. Well, that stage is doing about half an hour, Sheriff. Well, maybe we better go down to the station and apologize to the she-male. No use letting her leave with hard feelings about Baker City. The Sheriff, there's Mrs. Crandall. Just about to get aboard the stage. Right. Well, come on, Jim. May as well get this over with. Yeah. Oh, gone it all. Well, ma'am, so you're leaving our town, huh? I am. I sure hope you don't bear no hard feelings to me. You see, ma'am, we expected someone else on the stage when it come in the other night. <laughs> I hope the unlucky things that happened haven't caused you to leave our place here. Well, what is the odds? Now stand aside and let me board the stage, yeah, please. Yeah, sure thing. Oh, take the lady's handbag, Jim. All right. Right. Take your hands off yeah. the sandbag. I'll carry it myself. Get aboard. We're set to go. Leastwise, I can open the door for you. Well, thank you. Yeah, now. Hope you have a pleasant trip, ma'am. Uh, where'd you say you was going? I didn't say it. Oh, that's so. I guess you didn't. Uh. Yeah, she sure don't hanker to be friendly, does yeah. she, Sheriff? Hey, you're all set, driver. All right, Sheriff. Get up there. Get up, boy. Come on. Get up there. As for me, Jim, I say it's good riddance. As long as that woman was around here, I had the feeling that she'd pop up every time I turned a corner. Her leaving don't help matters, though. We still got to find Snake Walters. Yeah. And if we don't, well, I'm afraid the banker will be out to get a new sheriff. <clears throat> hey, sheriff. Hey, Dusty's coming this way. Hey, sheriff. Mrs. Crandall get away on that stage, all right? Yep. But she was not none too sociable when I tried to apologize. Don't bother about that. Poor critter's probably worried. Hmm, about what? Well, Driscoll says she's searching for a relative of some sort. She thought she'd find her here and was disappointed. Well, maybe that's what makes her so ornery acting. Yeah, better forget her, Sheriff, and get over the office. Mm, what's up? You find out when you get there. Come on, Jim. Right. Is the banker there again, Dusty? Nope. Not the banker. Then who? An Indian. An Indian? Well, what's he doing in the office? You see, if I didn't have enough on my mind without some complaining redskin. Oh. Dad, right at all. I don't know why any man wants a job at sheriff anyway. You say what he wanted? No. Nope. Just said he wanted to see you at the office as soon as you get there, that's all. Hmm. Probably been swindled by one of the critters around town. Well, where is he, Dusty? <laughs> oh, doggone. I left him sitting right there. Well, I don't see anyone here now. Dusty, you sure you weren't dreaming? I tell you, he was sitting right there in that chair next to your desk. I... Hey, look. Great day in the morning. Sheriff, what's that? Look. Look here, Dusty. Look, Jim. A bullet. A silver bullet. Just like that last one. 
If this is another one of them practical jokes, if this is another lion trick... It's not. What, the, the mask man! Well, I have all the nerve. What do you do? Take it easy. Don't leave your guns where they are. I didn't come here for gunplay. Are you... You left that bullet. That one, the one you found a few days ago, Sheriff. I was sorry that you didn't get Snake Walters. Oh, so you were sorry. Well, you'll be sorrier when I'm through with you. Now, what's the idea of impersonating the Lone Ranger? What's the idea? Answer me. Impersonating? That's what I said. What makes you think that? If you were really the Lone Ranger, you'd have nailed Snake Walters yourself. That's what I hoped you would do, Sheriff. <clears throat> and it's not too late. Do you remember the woman who came here on the stage? Oh, remember her? How will I ever forget that woman? Where is she now? Gone. Left here in the stage a few minutes ago. Left town? Yes. What about it? That was Snake Wallace. What? what? Oh. Say, what kind of a story is that? I don't believe it. I tell you it was. Snake Wallace came here the other night just as he'd planned. Just as I told you he'd come. But he came... You mean to say Mrs. Crandall was really Snake Wallace? Yes. Now, hold on. I said and it. And you can prove it. Get after that stage. Wait a minute, Sheriff. We already swallowed one story this man told us. If we believe this one, we'll leave him in town to finish the job at the bank. What job? Mister, the bank was held up a little while ago. Now, maybe you're the creditor that did it. Sheriff, if you waste a lot of time arguing with me, you'll let Snake Walters get away. Get after that stage and bring that woman back well, here. She's already threatened to sue the town because we held guns on and scared her. If we drag her off that stage, we'll be in more hot water than we can handle. Now, wait, wait, wait a minute. Let me think. If Snake Walters robbed the bank, he could have ducked behind the shed, pulled on the woman's clothes, and then showed himself as Mrs. Crandall. Sheriff, we'll get no trouble if we don't follow this masked man's suggestions. But you'll let the biggest crook in this part of the country escape. Well, maybe that's better than taking a chance on what would happen if we arrested the wrong person. Sheriff, the bank is already boiling matter the way things have been going. That stagecoach has enough of a lead. Huh? It's time you started after it. All of you get your hands. Hey, watch this. First, I'll take your guns. You need help? Bring the horses around to the front door, Tonto. Uh, the same engine that was here. Taking our guns, huh? Yes. I'll leave them near the hitch rail where you can pick them up. Now I'll have your watches. <laughs> Nothing but an ornery tin horn stick up. Perhaps. Your watch, Sheriff. I'll get you for this. You have to catch me first. Now yours. Oh, here it is. It's good. I'll take good care of these three watches. If you want them, you'll have to catch me. You get this straight, mister. It's one thing to ride after a woman without any evidence against her. But it's something different to go after a man that's brash enough to steal watches from Robin. <laughs> Good for you, Sheriff. I'll be riding on the stage trail. You want your watches? Come and get them. <laughs> Out of Tonto. We're traveling west. After him, boys! You'll find your guns right here. Any big fella? One silver! Get amongst scout. Lone Ranger and Tonto started out along the stage trail at top speed. Then they slowed to a ground-covering lope and cast frequent glances toward the rear to make sure the sheriff and his deputies were in pursuit. They maintained the pace along the moonlit trail for half an hour before they came within view of the rumbling stagecoach on the road ahead. It was then that the masked man shouted, Monsilver! The powerful white stallion put on a burst of speed that quickly cut down the lead of the stage. The guard and driver saw the approaching horseman. Get up there! Get up! Looks like a hold up. He's mashed! Rain up! Up that stage! I'll fix him! Leave your rifle alone and rain up! Racing alongside the stage, the Lone Ranger kept a gun on the guard and driver while Tonto rode abreast of leading horses, grabbed the reins of the one nearest, and pulled the team to a halt. Oh, hold there, hold! Oh, there. Oh, hustle. Oh, there. Oh. Get away. Leave us go. You can't get away with this. Pull them down, Tonto. I'll show you. Oh, you hit. Look at my rifle. Hold your fire. The next shot might break your arm instead of your rifle. We've got nothing worth stealing. What do you want of us? Your passenger steady, easy, Silver. I'll help myself. Keep the garden driver covered, Tonto. Have me watch him. Oh, please, please, mister, don't throttle me. I'm just a poor, helpless woman. Come out of that seat, <laughs> you. Well, let's see what's beneath that wig. Hey, boy, you... Look, that's no woman. I'll show you. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> you take me. A knife as well as a gun. A snake. I'll show you. Sheriff, come past. And we'll leave a present for him. Oh, great day. He left him clean off his feet. Here's another in the last. Oh, that finished him. Driver. 
Sheriff's coming here with his deputy. Yeah? He wants this man. You better wait here until he gets him. But who are you? Sheriff will tell you. Steady, easy, big fella. Montano, get him up. Come on, fill there. Well, Sheriff's almost here. Maybe he'll be able to tell us. Hey, Sheriff, here's that passenger we had. Great day, Jim. Look here. The masked man dragged him out. Uh, him is right. He pulled off a wig and it wasn't a woman at all. Snake Walter. Why, well, look at what's here beside him, huh? Our watches and another silver bullet. Jim, look in that valise and see if the bank's money is there. Right. Driver, what happened to this critter? Well, after he lost his gun, he pulled a knife. And that made the masked man plenty mad. He slapped the knife aside and landed two whacks on Snake's chin. Hey, Sheriff, you got a match? Uh, right here, Jim. I think the cash is inside this police. Bring a match in here so we can see. Dusty, you keep an eye on the prisoner. Right, Sheriff. Moonlight don't get inside here very much. Yeah, there's the cash, sure enough. Just as he got it from the bank. Yeah. What's this? Looks to be part of a newspaper. Why, right, this here is published in Freeport. Yeah. Hmm. Must have been where the masked man disappeared to. He saw the same thing in the newspaper. That's why he come back and told us Snake Walters was disguised as a woman. Uh, what's it say, Sheriff? Uh, oh, here, light another match, Jim. Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. I uh, say, tells of Snake Walters robbing the banker's wife of all her jewels in Freeport. Great day. Why, here's the jewels that were stolen. And, and look at this. Jim, this accounts for Snake Walters posing as a woman when he come here. What does? This article in the paper. Mrs. Madison wore a wig. A wig? Well, great day in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> when, when Snake stole her jewels, he also stole her wig. <laughs> well, no wonder the critter fooled her. I'd fool anyone. I'd even fool the Lone Ranger. Yeah, but not for very long. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated, 